Hello. Hello out there. Good afternoon. I'm Gloria and this is Yoga with Gloria. And I'm so glad that you're here with me to practice yoga. Um, before I get started, just want to remind everyone that although I'm happy to be of service during this pandemic and I love making yoga accessible to all, um, however, these live streams are not free to make. So if you're able to support me and haven't already done so, you can. there are several ways you can do that. You can become a supporter by Patreon or PayPal. You can hire me for a private yoga session via Zoom. Or you can simply tell your friends, share my YouTube channel with people at work or friends um, or social media. Okay, thank you guys. There's more information on how you can support me um, under the video's description. Okay, and just uh, to let you know that today I um, took a spill on a bike. <laughs> this morning so I skinned up my knee and the left side of my body it's kind of hurts to put pressure so I'll be moving a little slowly today maybe I don't know I'll see how it feels but you can still do your practice all right let's get started please say hello in the comments let me know who's out there maybe even tell me where you're from also make sure to like this video subscribe if you haven't already Okay, hi Abigail. Oh, Karen, you made it. Hello, Raja. And Suresh, Jawad, May, Jasmine, Teresa, and Suresh, thank you. And I think my husband put a sign of their happy birthday. And yes, tomorrow is my birthday. I'm turning 50. I guess I can't hide the age because he put that 50 right up there. <laughs> <laughs> thank you michael <laughs> anyways uh yeah just embrace it you know i'm 50 i'm gonna be 50 tomorrow and um we had great plans in hawaii but got canceled for covid so looks like we're just gonna stay local maybe take a drive up the coast secluded beaches maybe pop out thanks for your birthday wishes everybody okay let's get started all right um uh, Hi, Tracy. Thanks for your birthday wishes. So, hi, Daisy. Lift up through the crown of your head. Inhale. Exhale. And then we're just going to drop the ear over to the right, to my right. And then you're just going to slowly begin to nod your head over the shoulder so being gentle forward and back see if we can erase some of these lines of tension that we chronically carry in the neck and shoulders if you like you can walk the opposite hand out to the side or even just lift up your fingers and just feel that counterweight. Rolling it back and forth. And then just taking your nose and looking down on the floor ahead of you. And just make some small circles with your nose. And then the opposite direction, just some small circles. Try to get the front of the neck, the scalenes. Hello, Rania. Thank you. Sure, this class is suitable for beginners, Angela. And then let's come back to center. And you're going to take the back of your neck back and drop your ear over the shoulder. Inhale through the nose and out the mouth. So let your head be heavy when you exhale. And you can walk the opposite hand out to the side or even lift it slightly off the floor 
So you have a little counterbalance here with the arm and your head, breathing into the side of your neck. And then when you're ready, you can slowly begin to nod your head forward and back, rolling it over the shoulder. Hello, Teresa and Layla and Jen. Yeah, I'm glad you guys could make it today. And then we're going to turn the gaze down and we're going to make little circles and one counterclockwise. And then clockwise. And then release. Let's shrug the shoulders up, squeeze them back and down, scoop them forward, shrug it up, roll it back and down. One more time. Forward, up, back and down. And then we're just going to take a gentle twist. So taking, let's take your right hand to the left knee and you're going to just twist. Draw the belly in. See if you can lean back slightly on those left fingertips. And then other side. And release. We're just going to close our eyes for a minute to connect to our breath before we flow, before we begin. So as you inhale, just let your belly expand wide. And as you exhale, let it relax down towards your spine. Inhale, nice deep breath in. Exhale, just let go of everything else going on in your outside world. And just really make the most of this hour that we've committed here to yoga to make the best of it. Two more breaths. Nice deep breath in. Open the mouth, blow it out. Last time, nice deep breath in. Hold the breath on top. Try to reset your stress levels. You want to take the back of your neck back. Lift your chest, sides of the neck back. Ten more slow seconds. And open the mouth, blow it out. All right, hands in front of your heart, drop your gaze. And take a moment to call up an intention for today's class. And we'll seal that in with three ohms, inhaling deeply. Oh. All right, let's go ahead and start on our backs. And you are going to 
Make your heels so that you can touch them with your fingertips. Hips with distance, and you're going to press down, roll it up, and then tap it down. Nice, slow, and controlled. Lifting it up and tapping it down. Inhale up and down, up and down. Do three more, three, two, and one. Hold it up. See if you can clasp your hands underneath you. Walk your shoulders underneath. Press your arms down into the floor. And then bring your feet a little closer together. See if you can lift the right leg up and then straighten it. So firing your left glute for five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. Five, four, three, two, and one. And just notice which release your hands and slowly come down. Just notice which side was tighter for you. If you have a block, you can grab it and squeeze between your legs. If not, you don't need a block. You can put a stuffed animal or a pillow, a couch pillow. Okay, so arms are out to the side. Squeeze your blocks and we're just going to slowly drop your knees to the floor. Inhale to center, exhale side. Inhale center, exhale. Just feel your back start to mobilize. Feel those QL muscles starting to stretch. Let's do two more. Exhaling on the twist. Inhale. You can remove the block. Exhale, twist. Back to center, so you're going to draw the left knee into your chest and straighten the right leg. You're going to take it across your body. So stack your pelvic bones one over the other. And then if you're able to, see if you can bend the bottom leg. See if you can catch it. And then slowly see if you can rock. Both shoulder blades towards the floor, gaze is straight up. Or if this is not comfortable for you, you can just rock over to your right. And release. Let's do the other side. Left knee in, cross your body. Feel the twist first, and then when you're able to, go ahead and grab the back foot. Try to relax your shoulder blades to the floor as best you can. Or maybe look over to the left, that feels better for you. All right, right leg up. Let's feel your hamstrings. Straighten both legs. And you can just interlace your fingers behind your hamstrings. You can do circles with your ankles in one direction and the other. And you can slowly walk up your leg if you'd like. And if you want, you can even lift your head and shoulders. Give your knee a little kiss. Other side, interlace your fingers. And feel into your hamstring. So take this left hip down 
a little bit to straighten. Circles with the ankles and lift and lengthen. Okay. No other. So you can do this. Just taking the legs up and down. A little bit of core work. Or if you want, you can you can do lift your head and shoulders, pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch, like that. If it's too much for you, you can take your head to the floor. We have eight more to go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. And release. Go ahead and grab the backs. And take your hands behind you, lift your chest, and look up. And release. And you can do the same thing again. My fingers are pointing out now. Or you can lift into reverse tabletop. And slowly come down. And again, you can do either one of those that we just did, or the hardest one, we're going to do reverse plank with the straight leg lifting up. And slowly come down. All right. So from there, we're going to come on to... We're going to come into Downward Dog. Pedal our feet. And then you're going to have your hip, your feet hips width distance and you're going to take your heels to the left, heel toe, heel toe. See, feel that side stretch in your body. Other side. And back to center. Let's bring your right leg up. And let's bring it forward between your hands. And then left foot steps forward, forward fold. And circle the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. Hi, Roseanne. Welcome. All right, feet or hips width distance. This is uh, the founder. It's going to help your posterior chain, which we should work on every day. So you banish back pain. So feet or outer hip width distance apart. And then you're going to unlock your knees. You're going to take your hips back. So notice I'm hinging at the hips my hips back, the knees do not bend, they do not bend forward over the toes. Instead, they're almost straight and you take your hips back and your chest stays lifted. You can, you can try to lift your toes to, or even your whole foot to see if the weight is in your heels and that's when you know you're doing it right. So hips back, chest is lifted. You wanna avoid overarching and you wanna avoid a rounded back. So with your nice, strong, straight body, your hips come back, knees are unlocked, chest is lifted. In this position already, you might feel some low back turning on. And that's mean you're doing it right. So great, hands behind you, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Put a little bit, if this is enough for you, stay here. Otherwise, put a little more weight in your
maybe fingertips touching, and you'll feel a lot more pressure, low back, hamstrings, See how that your shoulders are doing. Do three more breaths. Back should be getting kind of fried, which is good. And then back here, go ahead and squeeze your elbows together like a chicken, chicken wings here. And we're just gonna go up and down a little bit here. Up and down, like six inches up and down. Little good mornings. And every time we're going to feel that low back, your hamstrings turning on, your glutes. Three, two, and one. And you're going to slowly take your hips back and lower down into a forward fold. And bring your feet under your hips now, hips width distance apart. So if you need a block, you can grab a block. Otherwise, you're going to take your left hand in front of your left foot, bend the left knee, right hand on your low back, and you're going to just turn and roll your shoulder back. Turn to your right. And maybe lift the arm up. And then other side, bend your right knee and turn to the left. And release. And hands to the floor. Let's take your right leg back, left leg back. Slowly lower to your belly. And we're going to come on to your forearms here. So we're going to do a little core work, eight point plank. So your eight points are going to stay down, your hands, your elbows, your knees, and your toes. So curl the back toes under. And the way we're going to do it, we're going to press down with the elbows. You're going to round up like cat pose, lifting your pelvis off the floor, your upper thighs off the floor. Keep your knees on the floor. You want to press down with the elbows, lift up between your shoulder blades. And then try to isometrically squeeze your knees together, maybe your elbows together, and then the elbows down towards the knees. Shaking is really good. It means you're doing it right. Stay with me. If you need to take a break, come on down. We got six more breaths here. And then come on down and shimmy side to side. We're gonna go one more time. Pressing down, rolling up. Super light pressure on the knees. Let's round up like a cat. Draw the belly in. Try to protract your shoulder blades away from each other. Find that rounded cat pose in your upper back. Do six more breaths if you can. And release. Come on down. Shake it up. You can rest for a couple breaths here, forearm stacked, crocodile pose. Hi, Oliver, thank you. Let's bring your forehead down. All right, and then we're gonna take our hands Let's take our hands on where the edges are, just around right there. And then we're going to come on up, reaching our arms forward and down, and then slide our hands along the edge of the mat on fingertips and see if you can come up. Take the back of your neck back. 
Pressing the tops of your feet on the floor. And then last time, you can put your hands flat on the floor. Or if you need to do a modification, you can put Sphinx pose, forearms down if you like. So just find your cobra here. Roll your shoulders back. Take the back of your neck back. Look over your right shoulder. Look over your left shoulder. Back to center. Curl the toes. Downward dog. Left leg lift. Let's bring it forward. Right leg steps forward. Circle the arms up. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. Circle the arms, inhale, exhale, fold. Left leg back, right leg back. Lower to your belly. Point your toes, come up for cobra. And downward facing dog. Right leg lift. Let's bend it and stack it. Open up your hips. Look under the left underarm. So the hip flexor stretching. And let's bring it forward. High lunge. Come on up. Let's bring our hands by our sides. If you want to make it harder, you want to move your knee back until you can see your shin. That back heel is lifted. You're going to come forward 45 degrees. And the harder it's still, arms alongside your ears. Do three more breaths. Feeling those right glutes, hamstrings turning on, posterior chain. And left hand comes down, easy twist. And let's step it back, chaturanga or to your belly, cobra or up dog, and downward facing dog. Left leg lift. Yeah, bend it and stack it. Open up your hips. Look under the right under. Let's bring it forward. Crescent pose. High lunge. You want to make it harder. Just back your knee up so you can see the shin. You don't have to make it harder. You can keep the Knee over the ankle for easier. Hands alongside. Hinge forward with a flat back. 45 degrees. You should feel those left glutes turning on and hamstrings. Arms alongside the ear. Adds even more pressure on the low back. Hip, I mean, glutes and hamstrings. Three, two, and one, right hand comes down, easy twist. And let's step it back. Left elbow down, right elbow down. Nice strong plank. You can clasp your hands if you like. Anytime you have to come down, go for it. Otherwise, we're going to drop the knee like you're running. A little tap for 10 on each side. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And slowly lower down. Arms stretch forward. Lift 
your gaze, lift your right arm, your left leg, and then opposite, left arm right, right arm left, left arm right. If you're swimming, and release. Find your favorite version of Cobra. And then downward facing dog. Right leg lifts, let's bring it forward. Spin the back heel down, warrior one. Let's straighten the front leg, hinge forward with the right hand and we'll find a triangle. So stacking your shoulders. Hi, Lily, thank you. And looking up. Maybe taking the arm alongside your ear. And then hand on your hip. We're gonna bend the front knee and we're gonna walk the right hand forward for half moon. So some of you might need a block here. If you're new to half moon, you might want to use the wall and lean against the wall. Or if you're new to half moon and you're afraid to fall, you can just come on your knees and do it like this. So you get at least the muscle memory of the upper body. But leaning against a wall is like you can't fall back. It's like pretty good. If you feel balanced, go ahead and bend the top knee and grab your ankle, roll your shoulder back. And really spin your hands down and point your foot forward. We're going to come into standing splits. We're standing 90 degree. Most people are gonna be here, which is fine. And you can stay here, or if you wanna go deeper, bend your standing leg. If you can balance, bend your standing leg, take your right hand behind your calf, and then try to straighten the right leg as you squeeze your left glute and bring your forehead closer to your knee. And release. And then you're going to bend the back knee behind you over to your right. Come have a seat. For Ardha Matsandrasana, your hands behind you. Lift your chest. Inhale, exhale, twist over to the right. If you want to go deeper, elbow past the knee. And release and unwind. You can take a Navasana here or just lift your feet like this or you can tap it or you can make it high, whatever you want to do. Just three more seconds. You can hold it here and cross, pop back to downward dog. Left leg up. We're going to bring it forward. Spin the back heel down for warrior one. Come on up. Take that left hip back. And straighten the front leg. Left hand forward over the ankle and let's find your triangle pose. You can take your arm alongside your ear. And then bring your right hand to your hip. We're gonna walk forward for half moon. Uh, 
So stacking shoulders, using blocks or using the wall. So just kind of leaning against the wall. And then if you're able to catch your ankle, go for it. Roll your shoulder back. And release, spin, windmill the hands down to the floor and, and change the orientation of your feet, of your left foot forward, standing splits. You can bend the left leg and then try to straighten it as you press into the calf, forehead towards your shin. Squeezing the right glutes, lifting up as high as you can. And then you're going to bend and take it behind you for Ardha Matsandrasana. Lifting up, opening your chest and twisting to the left. Maybe you can take a deeper twist if you're feeling comfortable. And then release. And then you're gonna pop up into a wide Hips width distance apart. And then one more time, you're gonna take your hips back. Knees are unlocked, hips are back, knees are unlocked. Maybe hands are out here, maybe arms are forward like this. A few more breaths here. So hips draw back, knees are unlocked. Knees are over ankles, arms are on either side of your ears or as high as you can. Some people can go higher, some people can only go this far. Three more breaths, two and one. Good, let's bring our hands to the inner thighs. Inner thighs, you can do heels and toes out. And then you're gonna take your hips back and drop your right shoulder forward. Feel that spinal twist. You can also stretch the inner right adductor more if you kind of karate chop your knees out to the side and sit lower. So you'll sit lower if you can. Um, hello, mom and dad, thank you. <laughs> and come on back, other side. Left shoulder forward, look over the right shoulder. And again, if you want to sit lower and karate chop your knees out, as long as it feels okay for you, feel those inner adductors stretch deeper. And release. Okay, and then we'll do one more here. Interlace your fingers, heels, and toes out. And we're just going to Dandasana go side to side. The back is nice and flat. And you're going side to side. So it looks like this. Side to side. Thanks, Crispin. Side to side. So some of you are more flexible. Um, and you can come all the way down, heel down, toes up, and you're feeling much deeper adductor stretch there. And see if you can get the, the bent knee, the heel down. If you can, you're going to take the knee out with your arm there. Other side, heel down, toes up. And then you press the knee out.
And then we're gonna come up and we're gonna quarter turn to the right. We're gonna come on up for a warrior two. The inhale, rug shoulders roll up. Exhale, they just relax down and press away. So the knee is over the ankle for this one. You can sink a little deeper and reverse the warrior. So that front, the right hand comes up, the back hand to the back leg or swimming behind you if you're more flexible. Forearm to your thigh here. Find a side angle. Turn your heart up to the sky. And then take your left hand behind you, roll your shoulder back. So this is your half bind. So you can stay here or drop your fingertips to the floor. You can bend and straighten. Firing up your hamstrings. And if you have a practice of a full bind, go for it. Otherwise, just stay in your half bind. And come on up. So we're going to turn the right foot in, left foot out. And if you're mirroring me, let's do the opposite. So inhale, shrug your shoulders. Exhale, relax them down and arms away from each other. Reverse the warrior. Forearm to your thigh side angle. Left hand down, right hand behind you, roll your shoulders back. Your half bind. If you want to bend and straighten a bit, you can. And then we'll take a full bind here. If you have a block, I'm going to bring it down for puppy pose. So hips are over your knees and you're going to Walk your arms almost straight, forehead down. If you have a block, you're gonna clasp the block between your palms, forehead down, and then you'll namaste your hands up. Nice opening in your shoulders. And release. And then you'll clasp your hands for another opener in the shoulders. Elbows under your shoulders or a little more narrow than your shoulders. You're going to come up for a dolphin. So it's just like downward dog, but you're on your forearm. Try to press down so much that your head is not touching the floor. If you're able to bring your feet together, you'll lift the right leg up, point your toe, straighten the leg as much as you can, square your hip. And then other side, left leg up. And release. Come on down. Let's take your right leg forward, heel and toes out for lizard pose. So with straight legs, with straight arms, it's the easiest. 
You can slowly set the back knee down when you're ready. And if you like, you can bring your forearms to a block, come down a little more, or forearms all the way down to the floor. And breathe into. It's a deep stretch, so make sure you don't overstretch. You can lift the front toes. If you like, you can bring your foot closer to center, lift the front toes and rock onto the edge of your foot. The back knee is down. I skinned my knee this morning of biking, so my knee doesn't feel good because it's bloody. <laughs> so it's lifted, but you can definitely put your knee down. Bite it for now. Left elbow down, turn to your right. If you're able to catch the back foot, go for it. For a quad stretch bonus. And release. Okay, you can do knees, chest, chin, or just come down to your belly. Let's find a cobra. And a downward dog, we'll do the other side. Left leg comes up. Let's bring it forward. And slowly set the back knee down. You can stay here, elbows on a block. Or just come on down. So notice the difference on how it feels in your hips and your in your body with the foot flat. So first I have my foot flat, kind of almost parallel to the side of your mat. And then the knee comes out if you can. If you're super flexible, you can take your hands out here and maybe like do a push up, bringing your chest closer to the floor. You don't have to do that. I know there's different levels in here so just if you like to you can heel toe a little closer to the midline lift the front toes and rock on to the edge of your foot here and then find a different little tweaked different kind of uh, stretch for that lizard And then we'll take your right arm down and we're going to turn to your left. See if you can grab the back foot. And if you can, you're gonna pull it in for this bonus quad stretch. And don't worry, I know some people can't catch their foot, so I'll do a quick, easier one right now. For those of you that missed it, we're just going to lay on your belly, right forearm down, turn and look to your left. You're just going to bend and you should be able to catch your foot here, most people. Um, otherwise, you can lasso it with a strap and then just pull it in. You want to try to keep the knee in a little bit and you want to pull the heel into the outside edge of your hip. So if you're more flexible, you can flip the grip so the elbow stays up but you rotate your hand so the hand fingers are over the toes and then they curl the toes back and you pull it down. And release. And then other side, left forearm down, pull it in or flip the grip, curl the toes back, and bring it up. Just 
and release. And chin down, hands by your hips. You're going to find a Shalabhasana. So open up. And then come down. And come up again. Maybe you can grab your ankles and kick your shins away for Dhanurasana. See if you can bring your feet to touch. Maybe hold on to the ankles. Roll over to the left. And back to center. And other side. Oh, hi, kitten. Great way to activate your legs. Okay. And come on back. And release. All right, we're going to stretch our shoulder joints here. Left, left forearm here, right forearm over, and you're going to walk your hands away from each other. Tuck your chin over your shoulder joints and just let the weight of your head stretch out. Your shoulders. And release. We're going to take your right arm out. And we'll do a little. We're going to flip over here. So you're going to take your right leg forward. You're going to stack your pelvic. Your pelvic bones there. And then you're going to walk your hands away from each other. And if you're able to, you can lift up and then smash your right chest into the floor and chin down on the floor. It's a little bit awkward, but you get the benefits of this nice, delicious twist all the way up your spine through the crown of your head, your neck. If it's too difficult, you can just keep your head looking over to the left. But then you'll notice the benefits stop at the bottom of your neck and release and then other side let's take your right forearm in front of you left over walk your hands away from each other and just let the weight of your head stretch out your joints And release, we're going to take your right arm out and flip. Wait, did I do this side already? I'll take the left arm out and flip. Left foot forward. Maybe smash your left chest into the floor. Or maybe your forehead, if that feels better. And it's like you're pulling your, your feet away from each other and your hands away from each other. They're kind of making an X from the top view with your body. And release. Okay. 
Then we're going to come on up. So I know some of you have a inversion practice, so you can go up. If you want to use the wall, you can use the wall and do your handstands. I know Karen has a handstand practice that I know how it's been, and Suresh has a headstand practice. And Abigail, too. You guys can do that. Um, and for the rest of you, you can lay on your back, and you can do legs up the wall, just like this. Still get the benefits of an inversion, or you can bring your elbows in to get toward each other and come on up for a shoulder stand. And if inversions are not your thing, you can come back. You can do a leg stretch here, like this. The right leg up with the strap. It's kind of like a half inversion anyways, and you're stretching your hamstring. So you can interlace your fingers behind here. And walk up your leg. Lift your head and shoulder. Give your knee a kiss. And release. And we'll do the other side. The left leg comes up. Interlace. Option to kiss your knee. And release. All right, let's take your right ankle over your left knee and then the right hand between your thighs. And we're just going to do thread the needle here. You want to dorsiflex this foot. Interlace in front of your shin if you need to. So the closer you bring your shin towards your chest, <coughs> the deeper stretch you'll feel. And then now you're going to almost stack your knees a little bit like that. So just squeeze your knees in a little closer together. See if you can hug your knee into your sternum. And if that goes fine, maybe you can hug both of your legs in and this nice piriformis And release, other side, left ankle over right knee, left hand is between your thighs, you're interlacing behind your hamstrings for the easiest version. You can interlace in front of your shin for a little harder. And then you're going to keep the shape, but then you're going to bring your, your foot over to the right. So the knees are almost stacked. And then you'll just squeeze that knee in towards your chest. See how that feels. And then maybe you can even come in front of your right shin and hug both of these knees right into your chest. Should feel nice. Different stretch. All right, and release. You're going to grab on, roll on up, and 
we'll close the clasp together and you know, then you can come into a nice shavasana or meditation. So we're going to close our eyes. Nice deep inhale in through the nose. Open the mouth. Blow it out. And take your hands out to the side and bring it up. Collecting all the universal nourishing chi right into your namaste hands and press that into your heart center and smile and feel blessed. And with gratitude for our practice here together in the virtual world, let's offer one om to seal it in, inhaling deeply. Oh. Thank you guys. Thanks for everyone who joined. Thanks for the birthday wishes. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button on, the, on YouTube and share it with a friend. And don't forget I stream Sundays, Tuesdays, Thursdays at 5. So join me again. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. And also, um, please consider supporting my ability to bring these uh, live streams to you. There's more information on how you can support, support me under the video's description. Thanks, be safe. See you guys next time, bye.